What, why don't you tell me about these yellow marks you have on this block? This particular uh, block has been um, called magnafluxed. So it's a process where you magnetize the iron and use uh, some dust, really. It's a uh, special dust. Mm -hmm. uh, but the dust will draw uh, into any crack that's in the surface and help identify those cracks before you spend a lot of money machining uh, the block. I, I always have the Magnaflux done, and I think most people that have their engine rebuilt uh, do that. On a flathead particularly, it's, uh, they are known because of the valves being in the block and the exhaust ports are actually run through the block itself. These have a tendency to run hot, and when they run hot, when engines run hot, they, they tend to crack. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is actually in reasonably good shape for a flathead, and it's certainly one that I would use. Okay. Uh, but you mentioned the yellow uh, marks, so let's talk about them. Um, there's two, two of them right here, and if you zoom in on that, you can see a small crack from the bolt hole down to the water, one of the water yep, passages there. I can there. make it out, yep. And there's also one just like it over here. Mm -hmm. And I would say that the vast majority of flathead blocks have cracks in that location. In fact, I, I can probably count the number on one hand that I've seen that don't have cracks there. And all that means is they haven't cracked there yet because <laughs> they will. Uh, and it doesn't really bother anything. Okay. Um, these uh, bolt holes are what they call wet uh, holes. And that means they go right into the water passage anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we were to be able to see to the bottom of that bolt hole, it's right, in, right, underneath, uh, right underneath that's the same water passage as we're seeing here. A crack from here to here uh, might reduce the strength a little bit, but really there's no problem that I've ever had with being able to put a bolt or stud in the, in the hole and torque it to the normal specifications with no problem. Okay. So that's a, an example of a typical and really no problem uh, crack in a flathead. Okay. This one over here just shows that that bolt has uh, been helicoiled. So that's a stud hole for this particular block. And um, those studs that are in there, there's 24 on each side, 48, mm -hmm. and they tend to corrode right into the block. You know, they're a, an iron or steel uh, bolt and a cast iron block, and they just, and they're wet holes, so there's water uh, in and around them all the time. And over the years, they just corrode. And uh, it's fairly typical to break three or four on each side trying to get them out. No matter what you do, I mean, you can heat, uh, soak with uh, whatever uh, concoction of, of uh, rust. Everybody's got penetrate. their favorite. Everybody does, and, uh, and I do the same thing. Yeah. But w even with all that, uh, the bolts typically will break three or four. And, and there's various ways to repair that. Uh, this is a helicoil. I have no problem using helicoils. There are other similar thread repair uh, techniques, and, mm -hmm. uh, and they all seem to work pretty, pretty well. Okay. One thing, though, that uh, that these blocks I mentioned earlier, when we talked about re talked about relieving the block, or in another video, um, is uh, this tendency for the for the for for the block to crack between the exhaust port, which this is an example of one, to the cylinder. This is an area where the blocks do crack right across uh, that right from the seat right into the cylinder. Okay. And those are. Uh, repairable, but I typically don't have those repaired, but they can be repaired. Okay. Um, but that's that would be an example of one that would cause me some concern if there was a crack in that area. Okay. Another area that's uh, fairly common is we talked about these uh, core plugs. So the water jackets right above here. Yep. Uh, if the motor ever gets cold and uh, or frozen, It'll tend to split the pan rail all the way down through, probably a, as much as a foot long sometimes. Wow. And those uh, are really not repairable. I yeah. mean, really not. Yeah. Uh, I take a lot of flathead motors apart. It's a real job. Sometimes days to take these apart, especially if they're rusted up. And over half of them are cracked beyond repair, in my opinion. Wow. Uh, not too surprising in Arizona. I bet you most of the ones uh, reach their final uh, drive because they got overheated. Yep. It's hot here, um, you know, and so I, I don't think it's too surprising to have cracked blocks, especially up around the exhaust port area mm -hmm. out here in Arizona. But I guess the point is uh, this block was checked. Uh, I am comfortable with the 
with uh, what I saw from the Magnaflux. Nothing that bothers me too bad. Okay. They're all going to have this. Uh, I've repaired uh, stud hole is not unusual and mm -hmm. it doesn't bother me too bad. So that's an example. Okay, good. Now we can see it right here to understand it. Thank you.